You know, it was a good win on Saturday, and uh, you know, after looking at the film yesterday, it was, uh, you know, we were sloppy, but we were able to go get the job done. And I said, uh, told our team we can still improve, we can get so much better. You know, offensively, you know, I look at the guys that uh, really competed well. You look at Swoops, 18 Wheeler did a really good job. Uh, and uh, even the Jay getting Perkins back was a really good bonus for us and good plus. And then watching Jay Gray uh, run as hard as he ran. And then defensively, uh, Ridgeway is becoming a, a force in the middle for us. You know, he creates so much havoc in there and it's so disruptive. And uh, Pete Jenkins is really play, uh, turning on his company and is having a really good solid year for us. And then in the back end, you know, 31 and 14 played really well. But we're always looking to get better, and we know we had to improve. And even in the kicking game, our punter was a conference player of the week. What about that punter? You know, good job. I, I guess he saved us on that one kick there. But uh, we know that we can get a lot better. And I told Trey Holtz, you know, I had to give a lot of praise and credit to him getting that ball down on some of the snaps or just getting it down and giving us a chance to kick it. But we got a big test uh, going, uh, going on the road this week. And we know that uh, we're going to have to play our A game. We're going to have to be at our best. And it's gonna, this week is critical, and we need to get better in practice and have the right preparation and focus. Charlie, let's start with these. Are you going to Miami? <laughs> I, I, have a, I have the best job in the country. All right? <laughs> so. The way things have gone the last few weeks, this team and this program, the attitude and, and everything, this is probably how you wanted it all along, right? Well, you know what's happening now, Brian, is that guys each and every week they're gaining more confidence. And when you, you know, I said to our guys today, we put that package in uh, with swoops there at the end of the game. We put that in on Saturday morning. And I said, probably why it worked so well, we didn't have time to coach it. And the guys didn't overcoach it and, and, and have to worry about what if they do this or do that, or try to counter. No, no, just run it. Let, and so now the guys are gaining more confidence. You can give them more things to do. How close the way you're playing now on offense, how close is this to the identity you envisioned when you made changes at Notre Dame? Well, we still have some ways to go, Mark, because you like to improve the throwing game, and uh, that that's ha it has to improve because it's going to be hard to rush each and every week, you know, for three uh, 300 plus yards, and then you're not throwing the ball that well. But you, at one point, it's going to turn into a throwing game where we're going to have to make some throws. So we just got to continue to improve it uh, with our with our passing game. The players may not have seen a whole lot of Iowa State just yet, but is this a team that gets maybe the scrappy label, you know, unfairly? Are they more talented than we than we may give them credit for, especially when they seem to play Texas? I told them it's going to be a dog fight, and we, it's a homecoming for them. So expect their best. You're going to get their best, and we're going to have to play at our best to really beat this team. But it is. It's a very scrappy team that, that just plays, and, and uh, they're going to make a play or two. And the thing about it, we just got to be able to counter and make sure that we can, we, we can go make plays.